Hello everyone, welcome to Cornflower Crafts. My nickname is Corn. And today I'm going to work on what I call the triple ticket and also show you some other tickets that I did um, because I want to join in on the open collab, which is hashtag stamp play. Our hostess is Susan from Susan's Heartstrings. I'll have her information down below. And I just want to show you some of the stamping I did. And these are already decorated. So this little ticket, let me show you what got me going in this direction for this ephemera. I had gotten these tickets years ago. Um, from They're made from seven, uh, by Seven Gypsies. And that means I got them at Tuesday morning, maybe six years ago. And um, I just tucked them away. I never did anything with them. And I'm, um, you know, when you go keep going through your craft room and finding things, you're like, why did I tuck that away? What was I hoarding that for? <laughs> so I was like, it's time to get them out. And I thought we'd do one together. So anyway... That's one of the triple ones, but these are the singles. And we've got this one, which is the stamping. I cut this one down. I also have these um, scissors by Fiskars, decorative scissors, and doing the edges so that, you know, it looks like it was ripped from a ticket roll. So we have that one. We have this one, I hope you're seeing the glitter on the roses. Those, just a little snippet of lace. This is airplane, but I figured I could cover up the air part, knowing it was an airline ticket. <laughs> um, fussy cut out the roses and then put uh, stickles on them. Same thing here. And we'll go together and do the um, the tickets together. Um, as you see, I tried to make it look like raindrops had fallen on. <laughs> I used to ride the train at one point in Germany um, five days a week. So, yeah. And some of them, I squirted it with water and then I scrunched them up. Then laid them back out to dry. That's why they don't look too bad. That's one of them. A little lace, a little flower. Like I said, lots of fussy cutting <laughs> and stamping. And working with um, distress inks. And the, uh, they were stamped though with archival ink and jet black. And then this one, snippet of lace, little butterfly on the roses, and just a little um, cut from an applique trim. And this one. Several uh, snippets of lace and lots of fussy cutting. And then this one. Hoping. Again, you can see the glitter. And then this one, which has the appliques here and here. Now this one was also, I hope you can see, was also scrunched. Like somebody had put it, the ticket in their pocket, you know. <laughs> so let's place these over here. Then I'll show you the triple ones, and then we can do one together. It's going to take a little longer time because I didn't set up everything. I did a few things ahead of time, but not everything. This one, this is a ticket that I, I'm going to show the back of it so you can see, but this is one that I made. This is one that I got. Um, this is the one I just showed you that is, um, got a little glue on there. That's from Seven Gypsies, and then this one is Prima, and it's one of the 
goodies that you can get with that uh, is Avec Amour. And stamping, lace, and a little applique, more lace. And I did this one um, just larger than this one, so you'll see how I did some of the other ones, so that I could do something like that. So there's the three tickets. And this one says, so lovely, like you. <laughs> oh, and then this piece that I put on many of them, here's on this one too, not all, but many. Do you all remember these from Hobby Lobby a few years back? How you could get a roll of this, do you remember? Well, I still have some of mine. <laughs> And that's what went on these guys. Um, this time I actually even put some um, faux, uh, no, wait a minute, eyelash trim. <laughs> so that's how that one turned out. This one is one that I'm tickled with. Um, there's lace here, there's lace here and here. There is, as you see, a little bling, cut bling here. And then this is from that uh, Avec Amul also. But it's one of their little pieces of ephemera. I fussy cut around it and then took out my stickles in mint and my stickles in hydrangea. I think it's what it is. Hibiscus, sorry. Hibiscus, so that I could make that jewel sparkle. And then this one, remember I'm doing a pink and gold sometime. And so I wanted to bring up the gold in this very, very narrow ribbon. We've got uh, almost like a velvet trim here, lace. And then there's that gold bling that I just got in my last uh, Hobby Lobby haul and clearance. So that's how they turned out. And let's do one together. Okay, let's put those over here. Alrighty. So, first off, did I show this? If I didn't, I think I did. Um, so wait a minute, here they are. I was gonna say, <laughs> I got kind of, I've, I've got so much on here on my desk that I forgot where I buried these. <laughs> so this is the one that I cut. And it's just a matter of if you already have something like this to make it, as you see, just a little bit larger and I did go ahead, like I said. Well, what I did, I'll show you. Let me get these out. What I did was, um, for me, I'm not great. You know how a lot of people can just go, there's the middle. There's the middle. That's not me. I have to put it on my cutting or my mat. And then I just take my pencil and make a dot for the center, a dot for the center. And then I do like a half circle. And these are just little cheapy um, hole cutters. Um, and, and I do a half one. And then I take my scissors, decorative scissors. And these are the, what I call zigzaggy. And cut it. And then I went around it in picked raspberry remember last time i said pink raspberry it's picked because it's darker than this dark pink <laughs> that's what i was trying to get to and um so that's what i do with this one with this one we'll work on that together and then i'm gonna go ahead and excuse me reaching across i do have this loaded up with a uh, sponge sugar and that goes on first around 
this one. How y'all doing today? Is anybody keeping a watchful eye on the, the campaign trail? I am. Okay. Now, Mama told me there's two subjects you do not talk about because you could alienate people. But sometimes things need to be talked about, don't they? Not to alienate people, but trying to help each other out. Um, this one says, hello, cutie, with the birdie. And so the sponge sugar's done. And then, depending on what I'm doing, um, I'll either go around it with Kitsch Flamingo or with that picked raspberry. I'm going to do a little Kitsch this time. And when it comes to these, because when the Prima did the tickets, you see how fuzzy it is? They actually were joined together. And when you pull them apart, the paper gets a little fuzzy, which I love. Just like a real ticket, you know? Okay. So we've got that one done. We've got this one done, because I, I don't know. Hopefully you can see I already went around it to save some time. And then with this one, I bring out, I have cut up this. And what I do is I just put this on here. Let me see if I can get this to stay on here. And then, let's see here. Y'all, I have a big old mess on my desk and it's just, it's growing, y'all. It's just growing. And yes, if you think, well, wait a minute. Doesn't look like this might not be the one she got on Amazon. No, this is one of the ones from um, Dollar Tree, y'all. Back when it was a dollar. Yeah, that's how long I've had it. <laughs> well, that wasn't ages ago, but you know what I mean. And the thing is about these, have you ever done this where you, you know, you're dipping it in your ink? And then you just hit it, you know, instead of coming on the side, you just, <laughs> well, that's okay. Because you're going to cover, as you saw, you're going to cover up quite a bit of it. So if you get this big, dark circle in the middle of something, that's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. I like whatever Seven Gypsies paper they use or cardstock they use with this. Because I don't know if you all are seeing it either. But it kind of, when you apply more than just, you know, one brush hole, it kind of, I don't know, it, it, it has dark and light, dark and light, dark and light. And I love that. I absolutely love it. There we go, like that. That's what I'm saying. See, you can blend it in if you keep going. But at first, I remember the first time I ever did that, I was like, oh, no. What have I done? <laughs> and what I always do is clean off this mat, but um, when I'm through with it, but I'm not going to do it this time to save time. Now, see, I want a little bit more over here. And I want that to stay light over there. Okay. Now, what I do, since I want to get that rain look, or at least, you know, I'm not going to spray the whole thing, scrunch it up, and then let it dry because it's going to take too long. But what I do when I do just the rain stuff I'm sure you all have done this for years and you're saying corn for Peter's sake. You know, you can, like raindrops have fallen on it, you know. And you don't need a spray bottle to do this, as you know. Depending on how much you want, as you know already, but depending on how much you want to come off of there. Um, can you tell this is what I've been using for all the other ones? 
then if you want it to really come off a great deal as you know you leave it on there a while but i just want it to look like uh-oh they were caught out in the rain but just for a little while i do both sides <clears throat> excuse me y'all i do both sides because I don't know which one I'm going to use, front and back. Okay. I'm going to leave that on there for a little bit. And this has quite a bit of water on it right here. So that's, that's going to, yeah, I thought so. That one really. <laughs> okay. And plus, instead of just doing like the rain coming, you can also just do a dot. And maybe a dot there. One of the ones I did with just the just this little dot, it looked like the back of a fawn's behind. It was, <laughs> you know, that beautiful brown with the little white dots on. It's so sweet. Fawns make me act silly. You know what I mean? I think if I ever was in the company, not just see them. And documentaries up in the company of a fawn, I, I would fawn all over it. But um, boom. <laughs> okay, I will. Well, let me wipe this off real quick, y'all. You know, just that's who I am. Y'all, who y'all aren't you? See, it makes a big old mess, and I'm so concerned that I'll forget. And then go to my next project. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. It's in the wee hours of the morning. And evidently, especially when I do a video, as you all know, I hardly ever do that. Clear my throat until I do a video, which is, it's loud. And if you have earbuds on, it's easy. Okay, now we can put this up. All right, we'll put this over here to dry. Okay. Now, then I do go around it. This is saturated. You know, I just got those um, new little sponges for these from um, Hobby Lobby on clearance. But <laughs> the reason I keep holding on to this one, and as you see, it's, it's pretty shredded almost. I use it so much. This is, as you know, vintage photo. Um, it's saturated so much, I don't want to give it up. I'm like that. I will soon. I told myself to do it. <laughs> I, I told myself, girl. I call myself girl. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> no, I don't. Um. I said, you know, you need, you got brand new ones and they didn't cost you an arm and a leg now. I do I want that side? I do I want that side? Maybe this one. And, um, okay. So, what do I want to stamp on it? Let me see. I'm so afraid of the stamp not coming out right because I'm doing it on the video, but guess what? I'm doing it anyway. Because you, uh, I have several of you that are so sweet and says, I like it when we craft together. Now, should we do a luggage ticket? Hmm. Or is that too big? Because the lace and all of that. Huh? Would that be too big? I think so because it's it wants to go where our little um, half circles are. So we're not doing luggage, but we have um, we have a baggage one. These are from these stamps are from Amazon. Um, we have transportation. Oh, here's wait, holdy. This is. Oh, does it fit? Does it fit? We have baggage check room. 
Ooh, and there's your ticket for your baggage. Let's try that. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, I hope to have everything, yeah. Uh, okay, this is, is from Dollar Tree, as you all know. And... Um, <laughs> have you ever put it on backwards now sometimes I do this though um, I set it here because it doesn't have the lines on it you know and trying just to get it straight and remember I stink on ice when it comes to, I'm gonna do this, when it comes to stamping. But I'm trying, y'all. Okay, that's on there. Then again, the archival ink in jet black. you can see if I'm not in frame is because of my vision issues y'all and we're gonna put this right about here nope <laughs> it's not perfectly straight but guess what I'm owning it okay and here's why. It's pretty vintage. <laughs> so I'm going to say, well, it doesn't mean that if it's vintage, they didn't get it right. But you know what I mean. We allow ourselves a few things. And I knew it wouldn't be perfect because all you would see is the top of my head if I got it right. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, boy, that didn't need cleaning too much, did it? Um, yeah, I have to get so close to it to make sure it's straight. So I did that, uh-uh. I don't think y'all need to see the top of my head. That's no fun. Okay, so we got that done. Let's put this back. Back, oh boy. Okay. Now. How are we going to decorate the top of this one? I've got a lot of scrap goodies up here. And um, it's not long enough. This is a green one. Mm -hmm. How would that look, though, with... Is that the right green or the wrong green? Because here, on the birdie is a yellow green, but on right here is that blue green that I love. I don't know, I'm not feeling that, personally. Let's try a white one, okay? And as you all know, y'all have seen this time and time again. I'm still working on it, y'all. I did use all of a few, and then I added... Then when I had that space, I added some more in there. Now, we don't have to use it as it's intended. We can just cut it up and stuff like that. There's one we could do. Whoa. Don't fall down, you. Um, this one I'm using quite a bit lately because it's just pretty. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? But you you cut that flower off though, but right over there. And then we could put um, an applique or something right there. Let us see. I'm trying, as you see, I'm trying to stay as flat as possible 
or otherwise I'd put, you know, a heart, a heart, oh boy, a rose like that or something, but this is just so thick. And, hmm. Oh, this is a maybe. This is a definite maybe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. <clears throat> Boy. Oh, wait a holdy. Look at this one. That's sweet, isn't it? Now, that is sweet. It comes over our... Um, but I've been, with my little um, half uh, circles, I've been trying to cut the lace around there, too. Hmm. Or, like this piece, put it on something first. See, that's too short, isn't it? And then put the lace on that. And then, well, wait a holdy. And it doesn't cover these. Oh my goodness, we found it, y'all. We didn't have to, we just found, I love finding stuff out of here. I love using up stuff that I made and I'm like, eh, I don't like it or I don't need that or I took too much of this out or what have you. So we don't need this at all because I like that. Oh, goody, goody. <laughs> it means it'll be shorter. <laughs> Okay, so if we put this here, let's see, what do we want? Well, I think I'm going to try to see how I want this, and then I will put either something on the center or an applique or a piece um, that I fuss cut or what have you on the side or something, you know? So let's put this on with our uh, art glitter glue. Okay. I'm not watching as many videos as I wanted to. I try my best with my notifications and stuff, but I'll be honest with you all, I'm watching so many political ones right now. I am so concerned for my country. Very, very concerned. And, um, praying a lot. Here we go. The nice thing is, if you read comments on some of the political videos, um, the nice thing is the people in other countries that are watching to see what happens with us because it, it can involve them very much so. Do you know what I mean? And Handsome and I, um, we're very, very different people. We think very differently. But on this thing, we agree 100%. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Do I want to go this way? Especially having the little birdie front and center. Do I want to go this way? I don't want to cover up my little in the circles there. And then, because, or do you want to go like so? Or do you want to go like, hmm, 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 hmm. That's not too bad, is it? It makes you look at the birdie. <laughs> it looks like, sounds like I'm taking your picture. Look at the birdie. Okay. Hmm. And if I do that, then I could put, I have some of my little pieces in here. I could put either a pink daisy 
here or I can put these this little applique snippet after maybe I don't know about the day see um, I got another one or oh, that's too dark that's almost real that one or oh, we've got this one this has a little more dimension to it. I don't know. This one's fine in it because they're almost the same color. Um, this would be gorgeous, but it's just too, see how dimensional that is? This would, I guess you could only put that in a card that you were sending something with, I think, because otherwise it's just too dimensional. This is gorgeous, y'all. This, this, um, uh, trim snippet but guess what when you put it with these colors of pink it looks lavender doesn't it so not that one we even have a bow y'all <laughs> let's put a bow <laughs> a little bow die cut um hmm. again love it but it's look how dimensional that is and put some green maybe even some green um, eyelash trim around it so which is kind of feathery isn't it hmm hmm I say <laughs> it's just too can you see that in a journal you have a nice page I spend then boom <laughs> maybe maybe that one maybe anything else in here I gotta dig sometimes through here. Something's much too big. No, nope, no, nope. what about this one? No, that's almost a coral looking one, isn't it? No, no, no. Okay, this one. We'll do that then. We will do it like that. Then we'll get out our stickles and Add a little bit to his feathers. How about that? So on this one, I think I'm going to put that down with the art glitter glue as well since we're paper on paper. And just basically in the middle. gonna go like this oopsie maybe like that but I didn't put it under there did I that's all right no it's not I want it under there okay do this real quick because I want it under there. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. Hello, cutie. Cutie patootie. Okay. A little bit, I got a little bit rambunctious with that glue. Let's get that off of there. I hear my doves. Well, I did it here, too. Alrighty. Let's make that pretty on the back here. And then we're gonna go here. Well, hoot, y'all. Hoot! I did it differently than I said I was gonna. Okay, well, what about it there, then? What about that there? And there's something else I might be able to do. Let's look here. Let us look here. Um, where are they? Here or here? <clears throat> Even though this has its little leaves like this, 
We can also bring out this beautiful blue-green here with these. Ooh. Oh, we've got pink too. I think the blue would look better. But it doesn't hurt to try, does it? Because this, as you know, when you're dealing with the trim, the green on that is rather... No, I like it like this better anyway. The green on that is mostly olive, really. How about that? We've also got them in the pink, but I think that's asking too much. I'm going to look just in case. You know what I mean? Hold on. I did that wrong. I got the wrong one. I put it upside down. Let's see if I can find the right one so we can put it right side up. Nope. That's the same as that one. There, there she be. <laughs> there she be. I can do that one. And that way it'll go across like so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, another thing I was thinking about doing, but I'm not sure. You can go ahead and put a small hole here. And what are they called? I've drawn a blank. The little metal piece that goes in the small hole. Whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And put some beading down there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, let's see. There's pink and green. Wouldn't that be cute to have something like that dangling down? A dangle dangling down. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if I need to try because that is picking up this blue green so much i'm not going to try i think that's the pink is a little too much i don't even think i have to try it you know i don't think so and yes i sat down here um this is some time ago watching a video and just cutting cutting these Okay, so what I'm going to do is get out my Fabri-Tac for this because we're going on the lace. And let's get these down here. But anyway, just cut them. I still have some, and I did all the ones I had except I had some other pink ones that I haven't done yet. And I think they're lighter pink than that, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe put the this down a little at an angle instead of straight across, like so. And um, just sit here with a video on, watching somebody create while I'm just cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. I did these some time ago. Okay, so I want this to, I need to hold it like this to see where exactly I want that to be. All right. Like so. And then we're going to put this one straight down. And make sure I got front and back right. We're going to go like so. Okay. up just a tiny drop like so there's our three tickets y'all and it might have a dangle might not they don't because I think this video is probably too long as it is but we got that one together which is good 
and I want to thank you all so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.